dripping all over it. If I ever see those rocks again, I'll scream. Hello. Hey, you, I said hello. Well, you weren't speaking to me by any chance. No, my purpose. You know, soldiers on sentry duty aren't supposed to talk. What can they do to me? They can fire me. All right, I've already quit. I'm all washed up for the Army. This is my last day. Say, that's an idea. We ought to celebrate. Yeah, the Army will probably do the celebrating. Say, is the rest of you as beautiful as your face? No, I weigh 200 pounds and I, and I don't wear shoes. <laughs> Perfect. What should we do tonight? How about meeting you on the dock under the moon? But if there isn't a moon. I'll meet you under the dock. No kidding, how about you and me going places tonight when your boat gets in? OK? No kidding, how about you scramming so I can see some of the scenery down here? I am the scenery down here. I'm Kid Johnson, the one-man army. Ask anybody. It's been delightful, Mr. Johnson. I go away. You bother me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Honey, I didn't think you'd admit it. I'll meet you on the dock at Balboa. Hey, I'll be wearing my civvies and I'll wear a carnation in my buttonhole so you know me. I wouldn't know you if you wore a rose behind your ear. <laughs> That's an idea. <laughs> I know you will, Jeff. Uh, you girls will both come to my cabin just as soon as you have finished. I suspected it. I suspected it from the very first day. You're not a beauty operator at all. Are you? No, that's where you got me. How dare you recommend her to me? Oh, now, look, boss, she's a friend of mine. She's broke. She's hitchhiking away to California. <laughs> Did she have to hitchhike on my customer's faces? Well, it was the only thing we could think of. You didn't want her to sing or anything now, did you? Sir, certainly not. Why should I want her to sing? Do you, uh, do you sing? Yes, but not very good. Well, it's the only thing she does know. But there's a guy here in, in California. 
Well, don't care if you don't know anything. He wants to marry her. He's a, a, a cow baron or something. He's richer than Lucifer. Oh, uh, Lucifer wasn't rich. So what was he? Well, he was, um, he, uh, what was he? Proud. Proud, proud. There, see, I told you. Don't try to change the subject. Now, if this Lucifer was so, I mean, if this man was so proud, <clears throat> I mean, uh, Rich, uh, why doesn't he send you your fare? Well, we don't even know what happened. I thought you said he was going to marry her. No, I didn't. I said he wanted to marry her. Oh, pardon me, wanted to. And on that account, Maggie figured there must be something wrong with him. Yes, okay. So she's going out to look the situation well over before getting into anything. You think she doesn't know it very well. <laughs> well, but he's known me for three years, but it's, it's so hard to explain. Mm -hmm. If Maggie were on the stage, she'd be a stage to her Johnny. Oh, but, of course. But she, but she Guy, you can come out from behind that hat now. What's the matter with the hat? It's got a roll behind my ear, too. I still don't know you. Say, you know you're an awful liar. You do wear shoes and you got the prettiest. Hey, you know this, John. Uh... No, we're tired of playing. You can stop this car right now. Now, come on, be a sport. I told you I was just mustered out of the army today. Thought it'd be fun for the four of us to celebrate. Who's the four? Harry. He owns the car. We're not interested. Speak for yourself. I don't know what you got to be sore about. When you hired this heap, you thought you had a native guy. So it turns out, instead of that, you got a fine, upstanding, clean-limbed American lad and his friend. Here's where he lives. Harry, I mean. You'll like Harry. And instead of showing you a lot of buildings and statues and stuff, we'll show you the real town. <laughs> You're getting a couple of guys for nothing, and you're new seeking. Come on, be good guys. We'll, we'll drive around. I'll make my usual pranks, and if you laugh, I'll think I'm good. If you don't, I'll think you're dumb. What do we waste? Two hours. What's two hours? I've never heard anybody talk so much in my life. Have you ever tried to sell anything? Sure, right now. Me. You know, if you had something good to sell, you'd be really wonderful. Harry! Harry! Come on, we're going out. All right. Harry puts everything he's got into his piano playing. Everything? Girls, prepare yourself. You're about to meet Harry Rankin, the hottest piano player in Panama. Well, no wonder he's hot in that overcoat. Well, I'm just recovering from an attack of skills and fever. Would you have a corner in Panama? The topics, you know. Yeah, I know it. Do you know it? Yes, I really think you should have one. If you're for me, I've already got my pill. Well, um, Harry, this is... Uh, Ella. It's Ella, and that's... Uh, Marguerite. That's Max. Marguerite. How do you do? I'm very glad to know both of you. Hello. You should be glad to know anyone. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'll let go. Come on, Fuzzy Lane. Well, you better climb over that door and work. Oh, allow me. Thank you. Panamanian joint. Sure, don't get out here very much. Well, 
I feel different. I feel well, like a warm breeze is blowing on you all the time. There is. Oh, I don't mean like that. I mean I feel inside this, uh, you know, sleepy, like in front of the fireplace, you know. Yeah, I know. The trouble is, the longer you're down here, the oftener you get that fireplace feeling. Of course, that's bad. You couldn't amount to much hanging around the fireplace. Hey, that music, too, isn't it? Yes. I won't be hearing that kind of music after tonight. You leaving tomorrow night? Yeah, I'm going to the I hope you have more luck in New York than I had. No, I got nothing to worry about. If I don't hear something, I can now go back in the army. Say, you married? No, do I look like the marrying kind? Yeah. <laughs> well, I am. Well, I'm not, so don't give me ideas. <laughs> it's pretty silly if I didn't think you, wouldn't it? Oh, it'd be pretty silly if you did, wouldn't it? Uh, well, we'll be seeing each other again. Wouldn't affect anything one way or the other. Even why do? Oh, really? Well, so you make a lot of fuss about unimportant things. <laughs> Look at those stars. They've been up there millions you of years. You said before, and millions of people have kissed each other. So what difference does one more make? Is that the argument? Yeah. Okay, it doesn't make any difference at all. Thanks. Feel better? Let's go. Well, where are we going? Down to the pavilion to get a drink. Oh, oh wait a minute, my, my bed. Why are you so cheerful? Look at those stars. You know they've been up there for millions of years. Okay, sisters, you're out. What's the matter? Don't you like trumpet music? No, nobody likes trumpet music. There are some other says. Uh, those flattest punches. Indeed? I think they do. Look, somebody might like it, but you couldn't be very bright to like trumpet music. Maybe you're right. I like it. You do? Well, what you like about it, I can't quite say imagine. It is just noise. You blow a lot of air into a tin horn and it comes out rat that, rat that. Oh, it's awful. What's the matter? Don't you like music? Music? Of course I like music, but that isn't music. It's a... Well, of course I like music. Uh, violin, that's all. Oh, sweet and romance. There's no romance in a trumpet. Romance in a trumpet? Ah. What you mean is you don't like trumpets. I don't like trumpets.
fun. He plays and then did you hear all the things I said? <laughs> There's a big bit of money. There you are. I'm not going to spend the money. I'm not going to spend the money. I'm not going to spend the money. It's wonderful. It's very wonderful. <laughs> I got here. Oh, hello. Peter, I wish you'd let me help. Puede que para algunos el nombre de Panamá sea un símbolo de placer. Eso hasta cierto punto, porque en otro sentido significa mucho más. Por lo tanto, imposible tolerar escándalos como los que ustedes han cometido. En consecuencia, este tribunal los condena a una multa de 50 pesos. He say you'll pay fine fifty dollars. Jack, maybe it's my boat. Maybe you better keep quiet. 
Now can I help? No. You, you wouldn't settle for the six, you, would you? Thanks, Woody. There's a hundred, hundred and ten, ten, hundred and twelve, there's a seven one, hundred and twelve, hundred and twenty seven, hundred and twenty eight, hundred and twenty eight fifty, hundred and twenty eight fifty two. Now? Yeah, now. Well, now what? Well, first we'll dig up old Sal. Well, what good will that do? I mean, I haven't any money, have I? And, and no clothes or anything. They wouldn't take me in, would they? I never thought of that. Well, what are you going to do? I don't know. If I might make a suggestion, you're perfectly welcome to live with me. Huh? Oh, Skid lives there, too. Well, I suppose that makes it all right. Don't worry, I won't let you stay there anyway. Well, then where will I stay? I'm sure you'd find it very comfortable. Skid and I can sleep in the parlor, and you can have the bedroom. There's a key to the door and everything. You feel that you need it. Well, I don't like it. Well, I don't like it either. Very nice. I lost my key about a month ago. Well, here's where we live. Just you and Skid? Oh, Skid just moved in last night. I've been living here alone for three months now. You mean you've done this all by yourself in three months? The bedroom's very nice, too. There's the kitchen. I think it needs a little tidying up, though. If it's anything like this, it certainly will. Is something wrong? Yeah. You and Skip bring the bed out. I'll make breakfast so we'll clean this place up. Oh, let's get some flea first. You can't sleep in this mess. Well, we have. Mm. She hasn't been moved since I first came here. Oh, I didn't have to do it up. Where's the water? In the pump. What? In the pump. Oh. Oh, what's the matter? Well. Oh, look, I found the shoe that's been missing for about three weeks. Now, he's got to take the net off. Thank you very much. It's going to be awfully weak. Awfully what? Weak for coffee. Oh, really weak. Let's try it. Let's try it this way. Try it I'm talking about the bed. Well, do you want it, Josh? We're going to watch those. Well, Freddy, where do you think that is? Oh, the bread. Oh, the bread. There isn't any. I fed the rest of it to the pigeons this morning. Oh, so that's what you've had living around here with you. What'd you say? What'd you say? I said it'd be a nice touch to have a couple of goats around here, too, don't you think? <laughs> say, what do you suppose she wants with a couple of goats? Oh. Tip your hand up a little. What? You don't need to yell at me. I'm right here, you know. How do you stand the gas on? There isn't any gas. Well, then how do you cook? You build a fire in the stove with wood. Mm. Hey, look. We're getting no place fast with this thing. Say, hey, I have an idea. Let's sit down quietly and figure this thing out. There must be a simple answer to it somehow. Now, it certainly isn't good for you. No wonder Harry's sick. We'll have to find out a thing to do, you know, staples and things. And... Well, maybe I did the wrong thing. Skinner, Skinner, I think I did the wrong thing. Yes, it's... Yeah, I think it's... Well, well, I mean, it's well, never mind. I'll do it myself. Wait a minute. I certainly put you in a lovely spot, haven't I? Oh, 
with me. It's just temporary, you know, just till my boat comes through again. What are you going to do? Oh, don't worry about me. I can always go back in the army. The army. What do you want me to do, go native? No, just take that junk out and burn it up. What are you saving bear caps for? Well, there's a rather good that I almost won on. The army. Always the army. I'm beating it all. Kid. Huh? You can do something with it. For what? It's a crime to hide a coward like you've got under an army blanket. You're the best trumpet player I ever heard. I thought you said you didn't like trumpet music. Well, I didn't, and I still don't, but I like it when you play it. I don't know what you do to it, something. Why don't you try making a living with it? You mean go to work? Yeah. I hate to bring it up, but Skip can go to work over in Murphy. Oh, that's wonderful. Did she really offer you a job? Well, why don't no. you take it? Would you like to have your own trumpet? Well, of course you couldn't get a job in an orchestra unless you had your own horn. Oh, but Skid's got a horn. Well, you don't have to tell the whole world about oh, it, do you? Oh, well, you might like working. You might like it better than Leon. You couldn't tell till you try it. I can tell now. Come on, Butch! Come on, Butch! 
That's gratitude, eh? Get here, will you? Now, don't get him excited. Don't get him excited. There, Bush. Gosh, Maggie, you don't let him work here. I can't go in and ask for an advance when I haven't even got the job yet. You can't get the job without the comfort, and you can't get the comfort without the $5. But I'm too young to die. All right, you wait here. I'll get it. No, no, no. No girl has to run interference for me. Well, Mr. Skid, you know, sometimes it's easier to tell somebody else than it is yourself, isn't it? I mean, it'd be easier for you to tell somebody I'm good than you're good, wouldn't it? Oh, would it? You wait here, I'll be out in a minute. You'll be out for getting mad. But Mrs. Murphy, I didn't ask for a job for myself. Oh, well, let it go then. But you couldn't work in a better place. And you're the type I like around here. You wouldn't have to do much. Sing a little, dance a little, and talk to the customers. I think you're making a big mistake, but let it go. I ain't begging you. But it's Skid that has Skid's the got a talent for making more trouble than any ten guys in Panama. I heard what he done at the Tayara last night. They got close for a week for repairs. He ain't gonna bust up my joint. Oh, that. Yes, that. Well, oh, I, I, I wish you'd been there last night. It was really beautiful. It must have been. There ain't a stick of furniture left in the place. This kid feels awful about everything. Young man just out of the army with responsibilities and everything. It's hard. Kid Johnson never had a responsibility in his life. Well, he's got me. You can't be such a serious proposition. You're kind of new in Skid's life, ain't you? New? Oh, I should say not. Why, Skid and I have known each other ever since since childhood. He sent for me some time just as soon as he got out of the army. Oh, I wouldn't marry him as long as he was in the army. Would you? No. Oh, so you could see how he'd feel on his honeymoon with his wife working and him broke. He got a job? Yeah. And besides, we do a swell number together. Skid and I have always worked together. Well, not in the army, of course. Mm -hmm. I can see one thing. Skid's got a lot more sense than I give him credit for. Mm -hmm. Hello. You remember me? Well, hello. You've sure been in there long enough. What? For Pete's sake, how did you do it? Well, she just understood. You're crazy. She's really a wonderful woman, Skid. Murphy? Well, underneath that bark and cigar smoke, she's a woman, and all women are romantic. Murphy, romantic? The minute she found out we'd just been married, she went positively dewy eyed. The minute she found out what? Skid, listen, don't be mad because I told her we were married. Married? Well, you care very much. She's got you a job, and she even said I could do something or other for a couple of weeks, and by that time my boat will be back, and if I go away, don't get sore. Not sore. Sore. I'm not sore at all. Yeah, I used to know. Oh, well, 
But listen, unless you want to supposed to lose our job, you better introduce me as your wife. You know, we're supposed to be married. Yeah, but you're not my wife. I know, but I'm supposed to be. Nowadays, every dance academy exercises your whole anatomy, too. Come on, come on. You're supposed to be working, you know. Yeah, I'm supposed to be a lot of things. While fever that rages, what down with the pages? White Hawk, Panamania, Gal, Rose, Pennsylvania, Hedgeroom. Thank you. Come on, I'll help you change your costume. Customer wants to meet you. Big coat hanger man from Cleveland. You get 25% for all the champagne they order, and only 10% for the scotch. Searching was badly seen. Then really you'll be revealing the badly seen. Who is that girl? Anita Alvarez, why? You scared. Hell, you're delicious. Panamania. I've got Panamania. White Hawk. Mr. Musselwhite, may I present Miss Johnson? Glad to meet you, Miss Johnson. Have a scotch and soda. In the coffee? Didn't you know it was poison to drink hard liquor so near the equator? Oh, champagne's the only thing. You mean to say everybody in the tropics drinks champagne? She's quite right, Mr. Musselwhite. Waiter. Mm -hmm. Your position, your role, the intuition tells you your condition, Panamania. And I told them they'd have to order a hundred gross of coat hangers or they wouldn't get any at all. Are you listening? Yes, I'm listening. Now, I have to check. Okay. Hey. Hey, you shouldn't encourage those dumb guys like that. They're, they're liable to figure it wrong. Well, what possible difference could it make to you? No oh, difference, no difference at all, but you got to remember we're supposed to be married. Yes, but we're not. these things for mercy. You know you're longer on one side than the other? Yeah, he was born on the side of a hill. No, I think that's from standing my foot when I keep on the music. Your long skip keep on playing. <laughs> but at this time, allow me to introduce to you our newest convert of the fine art of trumpeting. Oh, sorry, I'm about that forever. I told you when you played it, it, it thrills me. <laughs> to the marrow of my bones, it kills me. Hey, there's a lyric. The trumpet thrills me to the marrow of my bones. It kills me. That's not bad. It's not good. Better than that school song I wrote, Fight On for Redland, Conservatory of Music. Boy, I bet that was a hit. Yes, it was. Hey. Fight On for Redland, Conservatory of Music. Here we took a break. La, la, la. RCM. Hey, wait a minute, Harry, play that little floor.
I was through here. He was just playing wonderful. Yeah, but the last time you were through here was two weeks ago. Wipe that yearning look right off your face, Georgie. He ain't ready for Broadway yet. Anyway, he's under contract to me. Contract can be broken, Murphy. Yeah, so can Max. What do you mean by that, Craig? Yours ain't exactly made of rubber, is it? <laughs> You're leading with your chin, falling for a guy like Skid. Why? What's the matter? Everything. Oh, I know he's sweet and lots of fun, but those kind of shaky names. They don't stand up in an emergency. How do you know? Have you ever seen Skid have an emergency? I don't have to. They all run true to form. I used to think you had a lot of sense. But how you can give up that guy with that ranch in California for... I'm not kidding myself about Skid. I know he's not perfect. He's just a human guy that likes to have a lot of fun and has it with that Skid. It's good enough for me. It's not half good enough for you. Say you were sick. Well, all right, say you were. Sent Skid for a doctor. What are you talking about? Oh, sure, you'd go on the run, you bet. You'd get the best doctor in town. If he didn't pass the crap game on the way. Well, if he did, he'd win. Oh, what say you? What are you fussing about? You didn't have anything to do with this. You don't have to be so personal about it. You ought to be here any minute. Well, he better hurry. I gotta get back to my boat. Oh, you know, Skitty always has to take a few bows. <laughs> Say, how many of these things do you want? Just keep on working, Ella. Hey, Miss Ella, will you folks keep people? No, why? Well, you're always going away on a boat. Yeah, I know. And I always dreamed of settling down on a chicken farm somewhere. I think that would work out very well. Why not? I don't know. Hammonds don't seem to like me. <laughs> Too bad Skid didn't come home. He was awfully good. He couldn't have gone to Tyara. They wouldn't let him in out there. Well, why should he come home if he wants to go out with his crowd? He doesn't know us anything. He owes me a dollar and a half. I suppose he'll pay up, though. Yes, he'll pay his debt. But he'll never get in debt for anything but money. He'll never owe anybody any part of himself or his son. He didn't promise to give you what he can't give. He wants to stay free and he lets you know it. A nice way to be if you're built that way. A nice way to be. Yes, it is if you're built that way. A little less, you want it? Oh, thank you. You know, I thought after meeting you, he'd change. Well, Skid always was a great hand for something new. Something wrong?
Murphy. Who is it? Maggie. Have you seen Skid? Yeah, I saw him. He left here a couple hours ago with that bunch of back clappers and Alvarez. Murphy, I think I ought to tell you. You know, Skid has a perfect right to do as he pleases. We're not married. We just close with us. Yeah. I kind of guessed that. You're in love with him. I guessed that, too. Yes, I'm in love with him. Mercy, what is it with Skid? Every once in a while, I get the crazy idea he's in love with me. And every time that happens, he acts as if he's sore about it. I can't see this. I can. You're good for him, see? And that's tough on a guy like Skid. Maggie, take my advice and clear out. Way out. Or brandy. Freak cure us all. Freak cure us all. You're pretty crazy about her, aren't you? Who, me? Well, what do you want to go out with me for? Because I had a date with her. That makes a lot of sense. Sure, it makes sense. I was going for a doctor, see, and I passed the crap game on the way. Kid. Yeah? Still awake? Yeah, I'm still awake. Ella was telling me about a swell new job in New York. I was thinking of taking it. Now you're getting some sense. You should have done that weeks ago. Poor yeah. Kid. Maggie? Maggie, aren't you going to write me about not coming home? Maggie? Good night, Steve. New York. Did you get your ticket? Yeah, I got it. Well, the ferry will see you down at the dock. I hate to see both pull out. So do I. Well, I hope you have a... Goodbye. Well, you don't have to say goodbye yet. I don't leave till the morning. No, I, I just want to say goodbye now. Goodbye, soldier. Thank you. Before you go, I'd just like to tell you something. I think you're swell. You, you got good sense. And you're nice. You're not bad looking. I think I'm good looking. Yeah, that's right. 
Nice time to tell me. I'm, I'm the kind of guy that... Well, I guess I'm the kind of guy I like. But look. Look. Yeah, look, we, we could dump right out after our number tonight and nobody'd even miss us. We, it doesn't take very long to get married and we could be put back and nobody'd even know we'd gone. Okay? Kid Johnson, are you sick? I don't know, my stomach feels awfully funny. Oh. 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 Let my soul respond in sweet surrender. There it goes. I hear a call. Don't your hair in the cab, I'll meet you in five minutes. No, you said I could use a stylish shot if you want it. Yeah. If 
Chopsticks and make it sound like number one on the hit parade. Yeah. He's brought more business in here than any ten acts I've had. Yeah. <laughs> I see she's still at the El Greco. I wonder they haven't caught up with her by now. Who? Alvarez. She says, Merry Christmas, and she feels so sorry for us down here. Well, she needn't. How do you like the new number? It's all right. <laughs> you know, you never get a swell head around Murphy, would you? You never get a swell head anyway. You're too smart. He belongs to the big time, Mr. Johnson. He belongs on Broadway, and that's where I want to put it. But will he listen to me? Well, certainly he'll listen to me. Well, certainly he'll not listen to me. You mean you offered Skip Johnson a job in New York and he turned it down? I got a spot where he could skip right into it. And a hunt. Well, don't worry. He'll take it. Well, why don't you want us to come? Oh, but look, honey. Dames are a drug in the market. Skip. Skip's got something that's different. He's got something to set that town on his ears, see? Sure, sure, I see. Now, if you let him go on ahead and kind of get the feel of things, then he can send for you. In the meantime, you can hold on to the job here, and the skid uh, should draw a blank up there. You'd have something to come back to. That makes sense, doesn't it? Sure, sure, that makes sense. Too good to turn down. But I've got to talk to you. Harry, where's Oh, he's, uh, he just, uh... Oh, thanks. Hey, Miguel. What do you have, Skid? He has. Two. Too many. Oh, but Maggie, this is Christmas. Well, last time was your birthday. You know, the time before that it was Butch's birthday. Pretty soon every day will be a holiday, and then where will we be? Dark clothes. Honey, you have to take care of yourself in your condition. What's the matter with my condition? You don't know, but you're about to come aside. Just fix it. Now, honey, you've over and thanked the man and told him you'll be very proud and happy to go to New York with him. Oh, no. Skip, but you can send for me in no time at all. It's your chance. you got to take it. Look, Maggie, I've already told the guy I don't want to go to New York. I like it here. Gosh, we're doing all right. We have fun. You want to blow a cover to cheap walkie talk all your life? Why not? Well, does that mean anything to you to come aside? You know, go right to the top. All right, I go right to the top. What do I do when I get there? Well, but honey, you'll be a sensation. You know, really a sensation. I'm a sensation here. Isn't that enough? No. Hey, Murphy. Maggie wants me to go to New York. I couldn't go if I wanted to, could I? Tell her. Why? What's stopping you? Well, dear, you got a contract with me. Yeah? Well, listen, young man. My contracts ain't worth the paper they're written on. My lawyer sees to that. Good luck, kid. Thanks, Murphy. If I got a spot for you, if I got a spot, the El Greco. You heard of the El Greco? Yeah, I've heard of the El Greco. Take these pills with you, Skid. I'd sure laugh at you, too, if I turned out to be a prize flop. Mr. Moore is supposed to be very good. I am a flop right now. I know. You can always go back in the office. I think I'd better get off now, Skid. I'm beginning to get sick. Well, so long, Harry. Bye. You better take the lever. No, thank you. Gosh, maybe I don't know how to say goodbye. I can't say goodbye. I can never say goodbye, Tony. I wish I didn't feel like making a big mistake. Oh, I'll give it a little dog. Here's the bank book, Skid. Oh, no, I can't take that. Why don't we save it together? I don't want you to run the store. You know, when you get there, they'll treat you like a new motel. See, darling? I'll give it a little dog. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Emma. Bye, darling. 
What's he got that I have to Oh, yes, you curly hair. Come on. What do you think it's about? Oh, about a table. About our table. I'm sorry, you have to wait. Let my soul respond to me. Skid Johnson's magic compass will show the old Greco nicely. You know, we'll have to start a clipping book for him right away. Hmm. He doesn't photograph badly at all. And listen, New York public completely fooled. Get ready to sail in a week. Last year. What do you think of that? Not much. What's he waiting a week for? Oh, he has to pay back Georgie, doesn't he? He has to buy some new clothes. You wouldn't want him running around New York in ice cream pants, would you? I wouldn't want him running around New York at all. Maggie, when a car is a part of the Georgia. Gee, I don't have much time to get ready at all, will I? Yeah. Don't you think it's pretty good to save enough money to send for me already? It's a miracle. Yes. Oh, from Harvey. He's in New York. Mercy. Harvey seems getting so he's a terrific success. Yeah, I knew he would be. Come on, Skid. We're going to miss the main event. Hey, wait a minute. i got to send the wire. Come on. We've got a big bet on. You can send it later. Well,
Writing another letter? Yeah, I will. Kind of carrying on a monologue, ain't you? What would you do, Murphy? I suppose what you're going to do. Send me the film. It's 125, ain't it? You sure you want to go up there? Oh. A telegram came for you. I gave it to Albert. Oh, yes, I opened it, honey. It was just another cry for help. This town has more broke guys than there were in the army. Now I can shout to the Queen May and send for Maggie. Who is Maggie? Don't so give me hundreds, will you? See, that's wonderful, but don't you think that calls for a celebration? Yeah. 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 Somebody gonna meet you here, miss? What? Oh, yes, yes, nothing. Come on, I paid for it. Hmm. I paid for it. Good night. Bye. Is this your room or mine? It's mine. Oh, come on in and have a nice one. Come on, it'll do you good. Give me the Lumen Hotel, please. Lumen Hotel is in Miss Alina Alvarez's address. Will you please connect me with the room? I 
just got your wire. It's been chasing me all over town because... Well, now listen and don't laugh. Mary? Oh, well, that's wonderful. Harry and me, can you imagine? Oh, it's giving my life. Yes, I will. Well, what's the matter? Are you crying or something? No, no, I'm laughing. <laughs> Have you seen Skid? Oh, Skid. Oh. Well, Skid and I are getting a divorce. Oh, I don't know. He's no. gone a long time. That's the way it goes, I guess. Oh. Well, you finally got some sense, did you? Is Mr. Harvey Howell still registered there? I'd like to speak to him, please. My wife? But he said he called up three times. No, no. My wife in Panama. Let her come in. Probably some girl pulling a gag. Yeah. Oh, Mary. Last night and the night before and all day. That's all he's been doing, reading that letter. For a week now he's been reading that letter. I say a week's too long to read any letter. My letter, isn't it? Just the guy can read his own letters if he wants. All right, all right. But the boys that run that place you think you work in are plenty sore. If you don't show up tonight, you're fired. Hey, are you listening to me? You read that a dozen times, too, and it says she's sailing on the Normandy tomorrow. No matter how many times you read it, it'll say the same thing. She's sailing on the Normandy tomorrow. This would be a staff to go up and say goodbye to him. Better let things ride, Olivia. You let her know. Okay, Harvey couldn't have any kick if I just went up and said goodbye to her. And his wife, yeah. All I want to do is go up and say goodbye and have a couple of drinks and say goodbye. Come on. Hey, well, what do you want me for? Come on. Bring party with you. Oh. Why the French divorce? Aren't our divorces good enough for you? Well, how did you turn your arrange it that way? You told the kid? I really. How'd you take it? I haven't heard from him. Kid never was much of a hand for writing letters. He never was much of a hand at anything. He doesn't play with that trumpet. How long do these French divorces take? I don't know. I guess it'd be kind of fun to tell us. I've never been there before. I was there once with my first husband. Him back. You're not in. Oh, there's no sense in being unfriendly. Now, you just keep on picking him up and dusting him off every time he falls down, and the first thing you know, you get Harvey sore. No, no, but you might be in trouble or something. Maggie. How's that for an address? Hi. Hi, you kids, you're looking poor. Oh, say, this is Georgie Herman, my agent. You remember him. Hello, Miss Johnson. Glad well, to see you. And uh, this is Tony Riley. I keep him around just for laughs. Laugh, Tony. <laughs> he killed me. <laughs> That's enough, Tony. Plenty. Glad <laughs> to see you all well. How are you, Ella? Glad to see you. How are you, Harry? Glad to see you, kid. Say, this looks like old whole week in Panama, doesn't it? Hell, you're looking awful well. Is anything wrong? Ella and I got married. No. <laughs> well, I guess the guy that said there was one born every minute was right, huh, Tony? <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> Daddy. Don't be bitter, Ella. Shall I serve them, sir? No, thanks. I'm an old bartender from way back. Thank you, sir. Don't work too hard, son. Maybe one of these days you'll be in the door like I am. Thank you, sir. Hey, it's a good thing I brought up these drinks. We've we got some celebrating to do. 
Hey, you Georgia? Nothing. Well, come on, this kid's going away party for Maggie. <laughs> By the way, I, uh, got your valentine. Why didn't you come up alone? Oh, I couldn't shake these guys. They've been with me since last night. Well, it's nice. I haven't looked a bed in the face for a week. King of the night clubs, huh? Well, I gotta let the people see me, don't I? Where'd you get the black eye? Hope my knee's taking bow. Well, who's me? You ought to see the other fellow, Mrs. Jump. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, you quit riding me. I'm doing all right, ain't I? Certainly are. Your two weeks' notice is written on every bottle of scotch in town. Hey, lay off. You've got a new guy to worry about now. You stepping off pretty soon? I've got to get a divorce first, don't I? Yeah, that's right. So you've been crying. I have not. Don't kid me. I've seen you cry too often. If that's for me, don't put too much water in it. Okay, sweetheart, I'll this way. You'll have to play for yours, Professor. It won't be the first time. You told me, come on, play much better than 40. So you used to be a professor, eh? Quite <laughs> <laughs> out for dear old Redmond's conservatory of music. <laughs> remember that, Maggie? Yes, I remember. What's the matter, kid? Nothing. I was just thinking we had fun riding it, that was all. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Boy, we used to love him and tell him all of that number, didn't we, Georgie? Hey! Hey, hey remember when I found my trumpet, you had to buy that. Say, did we ever pay that pipe bus back to Murphy? Murphy, he's who? Oh, she ran the joint in Panama where we used to work. She, she's Butch's mother now. Butch is our chicken. Say, he'd have died. That chicken tried to murder Harry. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. A chicken tried to kill you. <laughs> yeah, and he got attacked by a bed one, too. Oh, gee, you look silly. You see, I set the house on fire, and you know what these two did? They got the bed stuck in the door, and they were <laughs> She wanted goats. I never could figure that out. Goats? And then he goats in the house. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, boy, was that a night? Maggie took off her hat to you when you took off her hat and tell about And you know, you know, you had to make a noise like a boat together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the judge was Spanish, being that she wanted to catch a boat and I forgot the word for boat, so I was trying to show him like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Having a party, Maggie? No, no, no. Come in, Harvey. Hello, Mr. Howell. Hello, Ella. Howdy, Howell. Hello, kid. Boys, this is Mr. Howell. He's an old towel hand from way out west. How are you, Mr. Howell? Glad to meet you. Any fellow skids is a pal of mine. Harvey, you know Harry. Yeah, certainly. We were witnesses at Skid's wedding, weren't we? Yeah, that's right. That was some wedding. We didn't even know what the guy was talking about. Maybe we weren't even married. Maybe you two are going to a lot of trouble for nothing. That'd be a laugh, wouldn't it? Well, how do you get the ring for it? Thanks. Well, there's no sense in standing around like this, is there? I know, no. I don't want to spoil anything for you. It sounded very gay in here to me when I came in. Why don't you go on with the music? Why, sure, then, Mr. Howell. Say, Harry. Yeah, play something. Yeah, come on, play something, Harry. Mr. Howell doesn't want to spoil anything for us. Come on, beautiful. How about you giving out with a song? No. What would you like to hear sing, folks? What would you like to hear sing, Mr. Howell? I think Maggie knows what my favorite song is. No, yeah, I don't know what your favorite song is. Go on, sing it for him. No, I don't want to sing that. Well, you got to be coaxed. You're not going coy on this, are you? No, I'm not going coy. I'm, I'll sing it. Then it isn't far. If it doesn't guard your friend, it can't be lost. If it's not a flame, then night and day, then it's nothing more than a game. My home never was taken from a tree. My heart never was. You still can't think of hard, can you? What is this, a funeral? We're supposed to be celebrating the wedding. We ought to be happy and gay. I ought to be giving the bride away. Can't stop it. Why? Who's got a better right to give the bride away? It shows there's no hard feeling. Why do people have to be sore when they lose out in marriage? Why can't they join in the festivities? Come on, Harry, play the wedding march. Play it fast and hot. This is a hot wedding. Come on, Harry, play it. 
You got a kid, you didn't yeah. have any... No, no. Come on, Tommy. Oh, I don't know, Skid. Hey, uh, you haven't got any old jobs laying around, have you? Skid, I told you before, I got the nice people here. Oh. I get a drum, hey, you know that. Hey, wait a minute. Now, this is the last time, huh? Now, take care of yourself. Thanks. Oh, you remember him? That's the Skid Johnson. Sure. You certainly are the Skids now. The Skid of the Skid. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Has he got his sense of humor? Told me I might find Skid Johnson here. Well, he was here about three minutes ago, but he went out. You wouldn't have any idea where he went. Well, I have no idea. No, no. Thank you. I used to get my wife, Manny. She couldn't take it. I used to say it just to tease her. Say what? Honey, I can always get back in the army. But you can't. You know, I never thought I'd. We can't use you. You're all shot. Better put your clothes on, son. You're pretty shaky. Hey, watch it. Hey, Skid. Oh, hey. Skid, I've been looking all over town for you. Hey, you're looking fine. How are you doing? Well, I'm doing all right. Skid, i got a proposition. Oh, thanks. i got to see you. Oh, I know, but first got a proposition. Come on, get in with me, Skid.
See, we got a mighty sweet little swing band now on me. We're playing in towns in Long Island, New Jersey. We're in Long Island tonight. That's where you and I are going now. Oh, you can't get out here, Skid. We're on the bridge. We're crossing the river. I had a last minute hunch come in town and look for you. So the band's giving a radio audition tonight. I thought maybe you could jump in and help us out. Oh, sure you can, Skid. Well, you must be going nuts. Oh, when you think I can get a band like yours, by through to a sponsor. You know what this chance means to you, Nella? Well, you said a name. If I meant a name somebody remembers. Oh, I remember this. I work my head off for a radio spot. I get a big sponsor all schemed up. I get it all set to fight the band down in New York. And then what do I hear? Well, uh... Yacht and cockeyed all the time. Oh, you said that before. Now, listen. I'm putting that program through tonight, hot or cold. And do we have to go through with it? Sure, we'll have to go ahead with it. Too late to call it off now. But Joe, if you roll out mine, I can always sell another band. I know where Mrs. Skid Johnson's stopping. And move, I gotta get in touch with her before she gets out of town. You gotta help me, Mrs. Johnson. You could always do anything with Skid, and this is his last chance. Skid ain't a bad guy, Mrs. Johnson. Sort of figured maybe he'd just roll You think you're wrong. Sure. Well, you uh, can't rule me out to try. Give it. Gonna be in town long? No, I'm flying to the coast tonight. I'm gonna be married as soon as I get there. Good for you. I guess just well just to forget all about Skid. I guess he does no good. Seems kind of too bad, though. The kid's got a lot of talent. Well, as soon as he goes on his face, then you're going to lose it. Well, you mind, Miss Johnson. Good luck. A lot of happiness. He'll never make it. The broadcast isn't until 10 o'clock. He's out like a light. Come on, let's get some stuff. Maggie! Oh, hello. Well, how did you get here? No, don't tell me. I know, and I'll wring his neck. Harry, you had no idea. No, no, Georgie told me. Oh, where is he? You remember those emergencies I told you about? Mm. Cast at 10 o'clock. What's the matter? Thank you, Rama. Do I like this, kid? I don't know, kid me. I've been thinking things lately. I wouldn't take it. Yes. Hello, Skid. Here's a thing to look at you. You're looking swell. Oh, I'm glad to see you, Skid. Let's have a drink, huh? Yeah, that's all you need. I'm not ashamed of me, are you, Maggie? No, please. You're not going to ride me, are you? I'm not going to ride you. Did you know something? I can't get back in the army. Well, you don't have to now. Oh, you're going to be a big hit tonight. Only you got to put yourself together, Skid. Look, look, you know, they're going to live you in New York at 10 o'clock. I don't think I can make it. Oh, sure. You can make it. You've got to, Skid. Why, without you, Ella and Harry, they're sunken. You know, they've been good friends of ours. You can't walk out on them now. 
I'm all shot. Oh, you can come out of it. You could have seen it. You know what I'm saying? Well, good thing that was pretty good. Are you all right? Are you okay? All of your eyes, Tony, you'll be all right. You gotta be all right. <laughs> Good evening, friends. We're broadcasting from the Harmony Dance Hall, the brightest night spot outside the city of New York. There it is now. We have a surprise for you tonight, friends. Of course, you all remember Skip Johnson and his magic trumpet. Oh, yeah. oh, They're, back together again, folks. They're back together again right here, and Skip's going to play for you most any minute now. He's doing a grand comeback. He's climbing right back up on top of the heap again. Better than ever. Come on, let's give Skid a hand. <laughs> Is that your hot trumpet? Oh, no, 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 I can't be hearing that. That's probably somebody clowning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Yes, you can, darling. Put your arms around me. Well, I can't do it, Lady. Yes, you can, dear. Lean on me. When you blow that horn, you thrill me. To the marrow of my bones, you chill me. There it goes. I hear a cold horn. Let my soul 